Well, hello, good people. Welcome back to my channel. Guys, as a balloon business decorator, one of the most important aspects of your business is pricing. In today's video, we'll be discussing how to price your balloon decorations. And I, guys, have some great news for you. I'm so excited. You guys have asked, and I'm excited to announce that I'm now selling a digital kit called the Balloon Business Booster Kit. This kit includes a customizable price list that I personally use to price my balloon decorations. I am also offering a free sample pricing list from the previous year, but I now have my updated pricing list and it's also customizable and can be found in this digital kit. You can find more information on my website and I'll leave the link in the description box below. Before you can price your balloon decorations, you need to understand your cost. This includes the cost of the balloons themselves and additional materials such as ribbons or waves and any other expenses such as transportation or labor. Once you have a clear understanding of your costs, you can start to determine your pricing. It's important to research your competition to ensure that your prices are competitive. Take a look at other balloon decorators in your area and see what they're charging for similar designs. This will give you an idea of what the market is willing to pay. Consider your time and expertise. Your time and expertise are valuable and you should be compensated accordingly. Take into account how long it takes you to create each design and factor that into your pricing. Charge yourself for labor. Whether you wanna charge yourself $30 an hour, $100 an hour, make sure that your labor is included in your expenses. If you have specialized skills or expertise, such as creating intricate balloon sculptures, like those really cool, fun, like huge dinosaur balloon sculptures, I can't do, but some of you guys can. You definitely need to be compensated accordingly. Set clear pricing guidelines. Once you've done your research and considered your cost and expertise, it's time to set clear pricing guidelines and stick to those pricing guidelines. Don't fold once you start to come out with new pricing. At least give it a chance for like six months so that you can see whether or not it works for you. Be sure to communicate your prices clearly and upfront so that your clients know what to expect. I had to get in close for this because when your mind is going crazy and you are trying to figure things out, I wanna remind you to not undervalue your work. It can be tempting to offer lower prices to attract more clients, but it's important not to undervalue your work. Remember that you're providing a unique and specialized service and you should be compensated accordingly. Offering lower prices may attract more clients, but it may also attract the wrong clients. But it also can lead to burnout and resentment in the long run. So make all your hard work, all your effort, the blood, the sweat, the tears, make it worth it. Guys, continuously evaluate and adjust your pricing. It's important to continually evaluate and adjust your pricing as needed. Keep track of your expenses and the time it takes you to create each design and adjust your pricing accordingly. You may also want to periodically review your competition and adjust your pricing to stay competitive. That's it for today's video on how to price your balloon decorations, guys. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you found this information helpful. Don't forget to check out my balloon business booster kit, which is now available for a customizable price list that you can use to streamline your pricing strategy. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah.